Hello, I am Dr. Gopi Krishna Edlapati, consultant pulmonologist at Ashoda Hospitals High Tech City. Today I'm going to few, uh, speak a few words about COPD. It means chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. See, when we expand COPD, that itself is telling us C for chronic means it's a long standing disease. O means obstructive, something obstructing in the lungs. P is pulmonary, that is the lung. D is for disease. So why do people get this COPD and how should we manage? What are the latest advances? How we can manage these patients is all about, you know, today's session. Uh, COPD is a chronic inflammatory disease, means irritants which are continuously bothering the lungs. Thereby, the lung inside, there are something called breathing tubes. Here we can see there are two lungs and there are breathing tubes. Normally, the breathing tube should be wide open. So, when a person who gets exposed to smoke, dust, pollution, cigarette smoking, tobacco chewing, or burning of this wood mass at, you know, rural areas, these things can affect the breathing tubes. Thereby, these breathing tubes, which are supposed to be wide open, they become narrowed. And the bad part is, this is not reversible. So, what happens in these patients, there is continuous production of phlegm, the mucus, breathlessness, and very, you know, they have difficulty in performing their day-to-day -day activities. First, foremost, we ask, request the patients to stop smoking, reduce the exposure to the dust, pollution and smoke. Thereby, we can, you know, reduce further irritation in the lung. Second, we use medications to treat these patients. Uh, as per the WHO statistics, of all the deaths which are happening, COPD is the third commonest killer. See, these patients present in different types. They come to the OPDs, stating that they have breathlessness and cough. Some come to the emergencies with severe breathlessness. We call them as COPD exacerbations. And there are certain other set of patients who can't even move out of their room or bed. So they are at home dependent on ventilators and oxygen. This is the sad state, how COPD presents and how COPD behaves in patients. So the foremost is prevention. The second thing is treatment. Treatment is by usage of inhalers or nebulizers. So in inhalers and nebulizers, we use something called bronchodilators. They open up the airways and we use something called inhaled steroids, which are of very low dose and they don't cause side effects. They reduce the irritation in the breathing tube. The redness would be reduced. Third, we use something called anticholinergics. These COPD patients have lots of mucus production. So these anticholinergics reduce the phlegm production. This sort of treatment is very easy when the patient walks in and we give inhalers or some tablets to con you know, control the, uh, the breathlessness and the mucus production. The big part is always with the patients who are sick, who come in wheelchairs, patients who are dependent on oxygen. Why do they need oxygen? Because the lungs are getting damaged in COPD. The tip of the breathing tube are connected with tiny air sacs called alveoli. These air sacs are damaged because of smoking and they become something like a balloon. Okay, this balloon doesn't help in absorption of oxygen from air, which the lung has to do. So these are called emphysema bullae. So the total lung would be filled up with this emphysema bullae where the patient would be struggling to breathe. It's something like a tight fit balloon in a box. So the balloon wants to expand, but the box doesn't allow it to expand. This is the, the situation in a COPD patient. This is how his lungs are in his thoracic cage. So these patients are mostly dependent on oxygen. They can't even make few steps. So this is how they present. And the other type of COPD patients are called bronchitis or a chronic bronchitis. Like I said, the airways are damaged and they are narrowed. These patients predominantly produce lots of phlegm and there is breathlessness. And these are the patients who fall sick for infections frequently. So other than inhalers or the oxygen or the ventilators, there are some portable ventilators. They are called CPAP, they are called BiPAPs. 
predominantly we use BiPAP in COPD patients. The lung which has to absorb oxygen and release carbon dioxide, the bad gas, so they don't happen. The absorption of oxygen is reduced, release of bad gas of carbon dioxide is also retained in the body. So oxygen supplementation will help in absorption of oxygen. This ventilation, the BiPAP which we use is a portable ventilator which helps in relieving that carbon dioxide which is getting accumulated in the blood and in the lungs of that patient. Thereby they can breathe well. Yeah, we have some novel therapies in COPD patients other than the inhalers and these devices that is called uh, bronchoscopic thermovapor ablation. We call it as BTVA. This is available in very few centers across India and uh, we proudly state that you know ours is the first center at Ashoda Hospital High Tech City to have this facility and in this what we do is this Therapy is particularly for emphysematous patients, patients who have these air sacs damaged and they are when they become air bubbles. What we do is under sedation, under anesthesia, we use a endoscope called bronchoscope, enter into the airways, reach the point where these emphysematous sacs are there. We use steam to burn that breathing tube. Thereby, these emphysematous sacs slowly they collapse and help the normal lung which is there for the patient to expand and help them to breathe well. This is a very simple uh, procedure. We do it in sittings and depending on the patient's condition and patient's situation and the dependence on oxygen. Most of the patients whomever we have done this procedure are doing extraordinarily well. So it doesn't mean that every patient of COPD is fit for this. No, that is the doctor's choice and doctors, uh, what you call, there are some protocols. If the patient fits in properly in those protocols, we offer this BTVA, bronchoscopic thermovapor ablation, the latest in the therapy of COPD. The common complications are lung infections, second, lung cancers, third, lung failure we call it as respiratory failure fourth these patients are usually you know the muscle wasting will be there they are usually depressed these are the common complications what we see in copd patients so doctor what else can you suggest if we are not fit for these therapies and all routinely we advise them to go for a something called pulmonary rehabilitation it's a uh, physiotherapy based exercise where the patient would be given proper nutrition and there are certain exercise protocols we uh, tend to make the patient undergo and slowly develop the you know the lung capacities and the muscle endurance would be improved in this pulmonary rehabilitation so that they don't fall sick again and again requiring ventilators second we advise all these copd patients to undergo adult vaccination this is something like flu vaccine and a pneumococcal vaccine which we tend to give in most of these respiratory patients and it is mandatory that COPD patients should undergo these vaccinations so that they can prevent infections by 75% so that their attack rates are reduced by 75% and they can lead a happy life.